What's going on guys, last spawn here. Hope you guys are having an epic day. So today, uh, the vlogs continue, a uh, little injury update for you guys. So last run that you saw on the channel was a, a 13 miler, okay, half marathon distance essentially. Okay, I uh, felt fine after the run, but I went for another longish run, 8K after that, uh, the following day. Okay, and uh, I actually ended up with a little bit of perineal tendonitis, okay, it's pretty rare. Um, and it's a bit of pain in the butt, okay. It stems from the uh, the bottom of the foot on the heel here. I don't know if you can see that from the heel it runs all the way up the leg towards the knee where it attaches. Okay, it's a bit of pain in the ass. <laughs> it turns out I developed it. Uh, I figured it out um, by just analysing how I was running, what I could have been doing wrong that would have affected that. And I realised I haven't adjusted my running technique since I left the army. I still run uh, with heel strike first. And roll, okay. It's a heel strike and roll, uh, because in boots, your infantry shuffle is obviously optimal, right? In heavy boots, it's great to do that for long distance, which is what I was doing in the army with heavy loads on your back, okay, with all your gear, with your weapon, okay. But for your casual runner, like I have been a casual runner, okay, on and off for, for a few years since I've uh, since I've relocated country, and um, it's just not it's not good, okay. It's not good for my knees. It's not good for my my ankles or all my running form in particular my my cadence my stride length okay it's terrible and i've realized this now and uh, so to fix that i actually ended up aggressively physioing myself okay into shape again i went for a run and it was fine okay but then the following day i went for another run and adjusted my running technique okay so i was more uh four foot front four foot uh loading okay and springing off the heel a little bit more so it was four foot first spring off the heel more mid to the front foot okay which is how i should have been running which is how i ran before the army when i used to do sprints and middle distance running okay and uh i ended up with a little bit of a calf cramp or strain okay it's on the borderline it's more soreness it's right on the border between soreness and injury essentially so because it's a lot of strain okay and because i'm really heavy still for me my body type and uh, my joints, ligaments, tendons, whatever, okay? I'm a pretty small guy, naturally, okay? I'm not meant to have this amount of muscle mass on my frame, guys, okay? And uh, for an all-natural guy, it's a lot of muscle to maintain on a small frame. So I'm still about 81, 82 kilos, all right? So I need to shed off a little bit more weight. I've come down from like 90 kilos when I was bulking, okay? I was about 92 kilos, actually, at the peak of my bulk, so I've come down all the way. So that's about 10 kilo difference, but I still need to shave off extra six kilo, I reckon, for an ideal running weight, okay? And so yeah, no, I, was, I was about 73, 75 when I was covering my 50 plus distances, 50K plus distances. So ideally I'd like to hit around that sort of weight. Uh, so with that being said, I'm, I have adjusted my diet, okay? I've simply been eating less calories up until this point, but I do need to just keep that protein intake uh, a little bit high okay to help uh, muscle repair and damage obviously because at this point in time my muscles are simply not used to the amount of running frequency that I'm utilizing at the moment for all of my functional fitness mm. but still swole swallows the goal uh, size is not the prize anymore okay that being said I'm gonna enjoy some of these okay <laughs> oh yeah great brand of crisp uh, for me anyway crinkle cut cheddar oh salt sodium get in my belly. So we did a little bit of elliptical training today because of the uh, calf soreness. So uh, elliptical training is something I highly recommend. Uh, I, I utilize it for a lot of my clients who experience injuries, especially back injuries, okay guys? So low impact, but you can get great cardio benefits out of it, okay? So that being said, the new goal for running is gonna be to try and just build up to a two hour, a long two hour run at the end of each week, ideally, okay, at the end of each training week block, or every other week, possibly. We'll see how it works out, but I'll be utilizing all my tempo runs, all my interval training, and uh, pyramid training into that, like I used to do when I did cover mid-distances, okay? 1,500 meters and upwards uh, that I used to do before the army. So, that being said, I'm gonna start utilizing a lot more carbs within my diet and uh, keep the fats pretty high but for the moment proteins are staying high okay but once the carbs and fats increase obviously i'm going to be taking protein down 
I don't need it so much, okay? Uh, plenty of studies out there now showing that you don't need that much protein, especially if you're only doing cardio and strength-based training, okay? Even for pure strength-based athletes, they don't need as much protein, okay, as if you were, say, doing bodybuilding, okay? Even as bodybuilders, I still believe, not just believe, but there's facts, there's tests out there showing that you, they're just ingesting too much protein. Okay, guys, your body doesn't need that much protein, okay? Per pound of body weight, okay? They're still suggesting stupidly high numbers for it. Okay, you just some, simply don't need that. I've covered this in previous videos, so go watch those videos, guys, if you haven't already. And don't forget, like, subscribe, if you haven't already, guys, okay? Helps me out hugely. I'm gonna keep pumping the content out to you with these daily vlogs. They're not even daily, but you get, you get my meaning, guys, okay? I'm doing these about once a week at the moment. It's all I can manage between clients, work, and getting in my runs now. So goals, taper the weight down, adjust the diet slightly, okay, with some added benefits of having some treats, okay. I keep things really basic within my diet, guys. Okay, it's very Spartan, hence the channel's name, okay. My training is very Spartan, and my diet is very Spartan, guys, okay. So I'm basically gonna have a whey protein shake now, after my uh, two hours of cardio that I just did on the elliptical, okay, and uh, now I'll smash some eggs in about an hour's time with some oats probably and then I'm going to treat myself to some crisps later on. I include these things in my client's diets as well. I've got a guy on pizza at home. <laughs> He's got pizza in his diet. He can have that every other day if he wants, alright? These diets don't have to be stressful or crap, guys. You can still enjoy your diets, okay? It was all candy bars, the diet previous to that, okay? There's another guy I've got him on uh, on sushi. Yep, he's got sushi included in his diet because he loves sushi, okay? So I let him have sushi. It's little things, guys, okay? It helps the body, it helps the mind, it helps you metabolically, okay? It helps you mentally. It gives you a diet break, okay? But with running, I'm burning a huge amount of calories, huge amount of calories, okay, at the moment, especially um, since I'm a much heavier runner, okay, relative to me, okay? So things like crisps here, Pizza is all fine within my diet in particular, right? But the rest of my diet is really very basic, okay? It's just basic cereals, you know, oats in the morning with some eggs. And uh, milk in particular, I love milk. Uh, milk is basic and simple. Good proteins, good fats, and good carbohydrates, okay? All going into my system, olive oils, okay? Avocados, real, real basic stuff, guys. It's just basic fruits, veggies. All basic stuff. You don't need to go buy silly ass cookbooks like Greg do set of seven, okay? And uh, you know, fit it into your macros and all that silly nonsense, guys, okay? Keep your diets basic, keep them enjoyable, all right? And uh, don't pay for things you don't need, essentially, okay? You guys, they're, they're just trying to sell you crap out there, guys. Okay, you look like this, okay? Everyone's different, but you know, you could look like this. Just eat sensibly. Go out for a few runs. Do your cardio, okay, guys? This is just cardio. This is me not even use, utilizing weight training on a regular basis. This is me doing weight training once a week with a couple of runs. Okay, granted, I had a above average uh, baseline to start with, okay? As a natural. But anyone can do it, guys, all right? Anyone can go out there and do it. So, training goals, with that said, okay, I'm going to be utilizing, well, I'm going to be starting off with a 5k time, so I'm going to go out, really push it after I've uh, dealt with this calf uh, strain or soreness, whatever you want to call it, okay, I'm going to push a 5k time, see what I can actually do, okay, I'm just taking it casually, having a fuck about with my runs essentially, okay, up until this point, just going out for the occasional, you know, jog around, see how far I can go, you know, I've not been pushing the pace in particular, so, I'll be doing a 5k time this week, next week when I'm nice and fresh, I'll be utilizing doing a 10k time, see what I can do. Ideally, I want about 25 minutes from my 5k. It's not too fast, it's not too slow. So, uh, and 10k, ideally about 55, 54 minutes. We'll have to see, that's uh, gonna be a bit more of a stretch, but we'll see. Anything under 60 minutes, I'll be happy, okay? So, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a far cry from my old, uh, sprinting days, <laughs> to say the least. You know, so it's a it's a lot different training, but it's uh, it's enjoyable. I love working around these injuries, figuring out what 
what's wrong with my body, how I can improve it, how I can improve my runs now. And uh, I really enjoy the extra energy boost I have from being a bit lighter and being more uh, aerobically balanced, shall we say, okay? A bit more all-rounder, you know, a jack of all trades, as you say, master of a few, as I like to say. Uh, <clears throat> so, that being said, that's the vlog for today, guys, okay? Injury update, diet, training, you got all the info you need. Uh, if you want to keep following along, don't forget to hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest videos that I'm pumping out for you guys. And I hope you all have an epic day. Last Spartan out.